We almost died, but actually we didn't at all. Two nights ago, Matt turned on the heater when I went to bed, and then he came in, he was like, I started feeling vomity and dizzy. I think we have a carbon monoxide leak with the heater. I said, okay, so I bought literally every carbon monoxide tester on the planet <laughs> They got here today. I ran the heater and I tested it, and they're all at zero. So I think we're fine, I think he just had a moment. But the time has come for me to take down my fall decorations and put up Christmas ones. <laughs> Now I gotta clean, because <laughs> it's pretty messy. All right, so we are clean for the most part, but I think I'm just gonna decorate where I film, and then I'll do a full-on decoration later, because I wanna film while the sun's still up. Christmas. It's not full out, it's just so I can film a couple Christmas videos since I'm filming so far in advance and stuff, and uh, I should be decorating now, but it hasn't fully hit me, hit me. You know how there's that moment where it's like, <gasps> Christmas, like I'm, it's Christmas, it is Christmas. But like, that moment needs to hit you, then I'll full out decorate. But for now, just gonna film a video. Mommy just made me film a video. Oh, dude. Oh, I didn't even have time to do my makeup today. I woke up and did dog training with Blaze at Santa Monica. And that was a lot of fun. He's doing so well with not tugging, with not being obsessed with any dog or person that walks past us. He's doing great. Okay, I'm not supposed to say anything, but Bla Blaze. <laughs> wow. Matt, I think, has appendicitis, and he won't go to the hospital. He's like, oh, it's fine, the pain went away. But it's his lower right abdominal, and he had a fever, and he almost passed out, and I was like, it's appendicitis. He's like, the pain would be getting worse, I'd be getting more of a fever. It's like, feeling fine, feeling fine. But like every hour, he's like, ah, I'm dying. It's been like that since last night. So we'll see if he ends up in the hospital or not. But Snoop and I, he's back there, are going to Santa Barbara right now to podcast with my mom. That's right, I left Matt, who may have appendicitis, and just left him. Because he wouldn't let me take him to the hospital, and he wouldn't come to Santa Barbara with me, so you get left at home to die. If you're gonna be a baby, I'ma leave you in your crib. You following me around? I'm about to go into the noise. Oh, I'm going to the noisy laundry room, so I go in the garage. Guys. It has been a hectic past few days. Not hectic, a little hectic. Matt has a kidney stone. He said I could tell you guys, but like he doesn't like when he can hear me talk about him. Anyway, uh, he has a kidney stone. So Sunday night, I had to take him to the hospital so he could get pain meds because if you've had a kidney stone, you understand the pain. If you haven't, most women who have had kidney stones and have given birth say they're pretty much at the same level of pain. And Colleen even said the kidney stone was worse because Colleen's had a kidney stone and a child. And she said the kidney stone was worse. And the thing is with a kidney stone, you don't know when, it could take six weeks to pass. Also, you don't get a baby at the end of it, but your vagina does stay intact. So he's been in a lot of pain. When I took him to the hospital, the first First time he wasn't in pain like it kind of goes in waves like when it moves it the pain goes up when the then then when it chills out pain goes down so he hasn't had any morphine because when we went to the hospital he wasn't in pain so we got pain meds to take home and they don't really do anything like there's a dull pain that's constant and it helps with that but once the kidney stone moves that pain it there's nothing so it's been kind of like a us waiting around till that real bad pain comes <laughs> and then we either go we drove to the hospital once uh, yesterday and because he was in excruciating pain and once we got out there the pain went away and we're like all right let's go home so the last two days has just been like anticipation of pain and it kind of sucks and we don't know how long it's gonna last but i'm gonna film right now because there's nothing else to do so i'm gonna film a video i also have basketball tonight we'll see if i end up going because if he is an excruciating amount of pain he can't drive himself to the hospital and i have to so I kind of have to play the whole thing by ear being a human being sucks sometimes I'm on my way to basketball. I've sucked at vlogging today, just the past few days. I might get, Matt might text me if he needs to go to the hospital. It's like this, this really annoying, but like, I'm not mad at him. It's, and he's annoyed too. It's just like this, we just wait and see business to see if he's gonna be in pain, to see if he's gonna pass it, to see if he needs morphine. Like he hates it. I hate it. Everyone that's involved in kidney stones hates it. My game freaking got canceled. I've been driving for a half hour and then my teammates texted in the group chat. I was like, game got canceled, just posted, they just got posted about it on Facebook. So I had to drive a half hour back. Okay, so I'll ride my bike. I was all pumped, I was in my gear. I was ready to go. Mm. 